Okay, tonight's story is called The Parables of Jesus. When Jesus, on, when Jesus on this earth did dwell, many a story he loved to tell. We call them parables, and in each it is a lesson Jesus wanted to teach. When you hear these stories, keep in mind there is always a message for you to find. When Jesus spoke of the kingdom of heaven, he said it's like a piece of leaven. A little yeast will make bread rise, though it is small and hidden from your eyes. The kingdom is like a mustard seed. Though tiny, it grows to be great indeed. Some seeds grow in secret there in the field. But when harvest time comes, fine fruits they yield. And while we're thinking of how crops grow, Jesus told of a sower who went out to sow. He scattered the seeds on the land all around, among weeds and rocks and on fertile ground. As seeds in the good soil grew strong and true, so the kingdom takes root in the hearts of a few. Like a pearl of, of great price is the kingdom so fair. Its worth is tremendous beyond compare. Like a treasure that's buried deep in the ground, what joy and excitement comes when it's found. So it is with God's kingdom when it becomes known. One will sell all he has to make it his own. Like a house on a rock standing firm in the storm, unshaken by wind and safe from all harm. So is God's kingdom a foundation strong to keep you th through trouble and guard you from wrong. And Jesus proclaimed when the end time is near, like a fig tree in springtime, its sign will be clear. The kingdom is coming and on that great day, we'll see who is chosen and who's turned away. Like bad and good fish in a net from the deep, like weeds and good grain, like goats and like sheep. So the evil and righteous are found side by side, but the angels the good from the bad will divide. Yes, many are called, but the chosen are few. For some people won't listen to teaching that's true. Some folks are foolish and some do not care. So Jesus told parable warnings, prepare. Don't be like the rich man who has feasted in style, as poor Lazarus sat at his gate all the while. Then poor simple Lazarus to heaven did go, while the rich man found nothing but trouble and woe. Don't be like the five girls who lamps had no light, so they couldn't go to the feast in the night. Don't be like the woman who sewed a patch of old cloth or of new cloth on old so that they didn't match. The garment tore worse where the new cloth was basted. Like new wine and old wineskins, everything's wasted. Don't be like people invited to dine at a rich man's house. They found cause to decline. Because they were foolish, they missed a great treat, while the rich man found others to come and eat. Jesus taught this lesson again and said, There once was king's son about to be wed. He sent invitations, but some folks said no. They were busy with other things. They couldn't go. So he sent for the humble, the poor, and the lame, and they had a wonderful time when they came. Don't be like the fool who built barns for his wealth, but gave no thought to his spiritual health. But be like the servants on watch night and day, for their master's return from a land far away. He's gone to a wedding feast. Soon he'll be back. His servants are waiting, so they'll never slack. So they'll never be slack. Wise is the steward who looks for his master. He'll get his reward and avoid all disaster. So Jesus teaches us, always hold steady. The kingdom is coming. We need to be ready. A very sad parable tells of, all, tells of a fool who would not learn to practice the golden rule. His master canceled a great debt he owed, but no, th but no thanks at all for his favor he showed. For he too had a debtor whose paids did fail. He took him to court and threw him in jail. No mercy had he, but he got his just due when his master threw him in prison too. Thus Jesus reminds us again and again, God is disappointed when people sin, but he's always glad when we, when we cease to roam, like the prodigal son who at last came home. He had wandered far, but his lesson he learned, and his father forgave him when he returned. So the angels in heaven rejoice, we are told, whenever a sinner returns to the fold. To find a lost coin, the whole house you'll sweep. As a shepherd, you'll search for a little lost sheep. Jesus, our shepherd, wants us to live. Jesus, our savior, will always forgive. 
Once there were two men who were both deep in debt. They owed much more than the other, and yet their creditor canceled both debts one fine day and told them the money they need not repay. Which one was more grateful? I'm sure that you know. For the more, for the more that's forgiven, the more love we owe. Jesus told of a fig tree with roots in the ground, but nary a fig on its branches were found. The owner said, let's chop down this bad tree. But the gardener replied, no, we'll just let it be. Maybe next season, good fruit it will bear. It deserves one more chance before we despair. Does God answer prayers? People wanted to know, and Jesus convinced them it is certainly so. If a friend at midnight came looking for you, knocking loudly, you'd hear him and answer him too. And like a judge hearing a poor widow's plea, so God answers our prayers as sure as can be. But sometimes God's wisdom cannot be explained, like the great vineyard owner whose workers complained. For all these workers received the same pay, though some worked a few hours and others all day. Don't complain, said the owner, for one thing is true. It's not yours to question what I chose to do. Then Jesus told of two men who did pray. One said, Lord, I'm just perfect in most every way. But the other man stood as meek as can be and prayed, Lord, have mercy on a sinner like me. Now, which one did better? I'm sure you can guess. Twas the poor humble sinner whom God did bless. Like unworthy servants, we deserve no reward. Nonetheless, true hum humility pleases the Lord. A master gave money to his servant one day and told them, invest it while I am away. Whether talents or pounds, it was a great sum for the servants to use till the master should come. The wise one obeyed him, in, but one man did not. He said, I might lose it. I'll hide what I've got. He made the wrong choice. Jesus gives us the clues. The gifts that God gave us, he wants us to use. The man who had hidden his treasure away lost all that he had on the reckoning day. So be like the steward who used what he had. Because he was wise, his master was glad. A man had two sons who both hated to work, and often their duties, these men, these two men would shirk. One morning the elder did loudly declare, I won't go to work today, I just don't care. But when he thought it over, he changed his plan. He went on to work like a good, honest man. The younger man said, I will work hard all day. But he took the day off and went on his way. Which one did better? The elder, you see, for actions speak louder than words. We agree. A man fell among thieves as he traveled along. They robbed him and beat him, a terrible wrong. Some travelers saw him but quickly passed by. If he didn't find help very soon, he would die. Then there came to the rescue a wayfarer good, a kindly Samaritan who helped all he could. Jesus speaks with great praise of this man's noble deed and the kindness he showed to another in need. Now many of Jesus' stories we know, and we think how he told them so long ago. Better than treasures of silver and gold are these wonderful parables that Jesus told. The end. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.